Hello, embedded engineers, developers, and professionals in the embedded industry. Welcome to, in case you missed it, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from your friends at Embedded Computing Design. It's Friday, November 14th, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design and your host. I am still catching up with all the news from Embedded World North America last week in Anaheim, California. I hope you all enjoyed our uh, video and news coverage from the show. We had a lot of fun there and we learned a lot. Of course, not everything that's been going on was centered on Embedded World, so these are our top stories this week. Coming up first, uh, Keegan has announced that Evergy, one of the largest investor-owned utilities in the U.S. Midwest region, has about uh, 1.7 million customers, has elected to use Keegan's secure eSIM OS and GSMA SGP.32 compliant EIM solution to strengthen its grid reliability and resilience. Currently, Evergy's LTE network covers 100 sites with expected growth to reach tens of thousands of connected devices. Sounds like a power up to me. Our next story comes from a column by James Kolb, Director of Operations at High Techquity, about the challenges of power and energy in AI data centers and how all of that challenge is impacting performance and the grid. Kolb writes in the column that a recent Deloitte survey of 120 US-based power companies and data center executives identified power and cooling limitations as significant barriers to AI data center growth over the next three to five years for 72% of them. Since AI workloads are demanding three to five times higher power densities than traditional data center applications, and GPU clusters require up to 100 kilowatt hours per rack compared to the 10 to 15 kilowatts typical of conventional servers, every part of the embedded system designed from chip level, thermal management to rack level cooling distribution is seeing big changes. You want to give that a read. Finally, we're featuring Decision Makers Limited, which recently announced its Micro EDS, a lightweight real-time monitoring and anomaly detection platform for embedded and industrial applications. The solution is engineered to run directly on compact single board computers and enable local autonomous decision making without the need for the cloud. That's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss coming out every Monday. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our shows. Visit embeddedcomputing.com for all the news in the embedded computing space and follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web. Please reach out if you'd like to become an advertiser or a sponsor of In Case You Missed It and I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, friends.